This video now has millions of hits. It's State Senator Mallory McMorrow's floor speech outraged over fellow Senator Lana Thies's comments in a fundraising email. In that email, Thies calls McMorrow a troll who wants to, as the letter put it, groom and sexualize kindergartners. Mara McDonald downtown now with more. And uh, Mara, McMorrow's response has drawn now international media attention. And likes and retweets from high profile Democrats like Hillary Rodden Clinton and James Carville. I didn't expect to wake up yesterday to the news that the senator from the 22nd district had overnight accused me by name of grooming and sexualizing children in an email fundraising for herself. McMorrow's passionate floor speech became an instant hit on Twitter, racking up millions of views and retweets and invitations to appear on MSNBC. I want every child in this state to feel seen, heard, and supported, not marginalized and targeted because they are not straight, white, and Christian. It's in response to a fundraising email sent by Senator Lana Tice, a Brighton Republican, who used this language, quote, these are the people we are up against, progressive social media trolls like Senator Mallory McMurrow, D. Snowflake, who are outraged they can't teach, can't groom, and sexualize kindergartners or that eight-year-olds are responsible for slavery. Tice, who is the chair of the Senate Education Committee, is a conservative Republican who is facing a primary challenge from a Trump-endorsed candidate. Senator Tice has not responded on camera to Senator McMorrow's floor speech, but she did release this statement on Twitter this afternoon, saying in part, Senator McMorrow is not naive about politics and fundraising. I know that because it took her mere minutes to turn her Senate floor speech into a plea for campaign donations. That floor speech has certainly raised Senator McMorrow's national profile, and she did have a pretty great fundraising haul, more than six figures. We're downtown. I'm Mara McDonald, Local 4.